Uh, these onions are making me want to sneeze. I don't know what's making me want to sneeze, but it's something powerful. <coughs> Should I eat the looks like I looks like I already ate it. <laughs> Most of it. The stump. You're surprised. The stump. The onions have stumps. They do now. They, they do, I'm going to they do after you've been oh. at them. <coughs> Stumpy onions. Lovely. Munch, 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 crunch, crunch, crunch. Nom, nom, nom. Nom. Oh, right. We're almost. Almost ready. What am I doing? Clicking um, buttons. Clicking buttons. You're saying one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> oh yeah, <laughs> thanks. One, two, three, four, five. La. It appears to be working. Oh, would you look at that! I can't make the contrast any brighter. That's wonderful, darling. Because it's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Um. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't make any sense, does it? I started with a completely... It's so... It's so dark, dark you can't uh, make it any brighter. <laughs> Logically. <laughs> Said God. Yeah. Um, well, it. you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but... It's so dark outside that I have to turn up... That even though we've got a light, it's the middle of the day, we've got a light on inside. And lights on, like, everywhere, by the way. You should so really turn them off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's dark, it right? It is, yeah. It's dark. Mm -hmm. So, uh, look, uh, here, this is what happens if I move it one step. Mm -hmm. If you're watching we online, it sort of makes sense. We sort of, bec we sort of look like we're in a storeroom. <laughs> Or or warehouse, or a box perhaps. <laughs> but um, if I if I pump up the volume, oh my, we we, we disappear. I should have. That's a bit too much. Is I there anything in between? Th there's there's not actually. There, okay. There's nothing in between. So it's either or. Okay. It's either or. Never yeah. mind. So we're we're either f we're either under contrasted. Mhm. Mm or over contrasted. I don't know. What do you think is better? Play with the gain a little bit. Oh, look. Play with the gain. There we go. That's nice. There we go. That, that yeah, does that's it. That's nice. Yeah, that leave it like it. that. Okay. That, that, was <laughs> that was me giving you misinformation, saying it wasn't possible to do anything else, and actually it was. Thank you for your misinformation. But that's, that's okay. Let's I try not I'm to do with the people out there. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm regularly uh, inaccurate with certain things. Isn't that a great talent? Yes, it's awesome talent, and it doesn't drive me nuts at all, ever. No. No. I didn't know you had any nuts. No. <laughs> well, that's that. <laughs> that's, that's a joke from the 1940s. Know, that's why. <laughs> hey, you know what I found on the internet the other day? Actually, I didn't find it. I'm I'm subscribed to a wonderful newsletter, which is a homeschooling newsletter, mm -hmm. and I think it's the uh, is it the homeschooling freebie daily or weekly or uh maybe maybe it's monthly frisbee international i don't i don't know maybe i'm completely wrong could be but um i have to find it and, and post a link to it but um they did a series on old time radio shows mm -hmm. and uh you know highlighting certain stories that were good for children's imagination Look in your dreams. <laughs> in your Thunder. dreams. Yeah. Okay. It's just the hair. You've got your hair down. I like it when you've got your hair down. It's very nice. You should let your hair down sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Didn't make any difference. My hair is my hair is down because it just came out of the shower. So <laughs> I hope you were with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't just walk out all by itself. Did you smell it? Well, I don't know what you're, what you're gonna. I thought you might be trying to hit me, so I step back there. <laughs> no. I saw your fist through your arm. Being Why did raised you just smell my pit? <laughs> <laughs> she said. No, right. no, yeah. Right. Um, you're, 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 you're right. 
I'm being disgusting. So what did you... Uh, you are. What were you saying? <laughs> um, old-time radio shows. <coughs> so apparently um, you have probably never heard of the cinnamon bear. I have, actually. Right. Well, there goes completely my story. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Because you downloaded it for the kids about uh, about a few years ago. And I played it for the kids. And they found it quite boring. <sighs> Is it one of those things that adults appreciate more than kids and kids just don't get? No, I think it's the timing. I think it's that the, the, the fact, first of all, the recording well, is not as clear as your today's recordings. Well, but by the way, so I just want to say that this, the Cinnamon Bear is uh, like an original broadcast radio drama from, I don't know, 1950s mm -hmm. or maybe earlier. Than that. And second of all, kids are used to faster paced entertainment now. So they don't have the patience to just sit down and listen to a slow-paced story. There's something wrong with that. Yes, I know. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with that. If Especially if this if the story sounds like your old old record, you know, with the crackling and the fuzzy sounds and you couldn't really understand I love some crackle and some fuzz. some words, but you, you do. <laughs> you do, you but the kids are that. so the ki <laughs> No, actually. Kids are so Much used than pit. <laughs> It is. Kids are so used to the uh, the clear sound of everything that I think that it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't doesn't go up to their standards. Well, that, that's ridiculous because that you know that which interests them will it doesn't always depend upon standards. Right? You know, if we were somewhere in the forest. Right, right, camp, right camp, not camping, but somewhere in a cottage in a forest for right a week, now. right? With no monitor, right. no tablets, no phones, nothing. Just us in the cottage. And then you and turn the radio and on. And the dogs, <laughs> and the foxes, and yes. the pigs, and the Stop deer. It. And if you turn the radio on the after a people. week, and you went, oh, listen, that's Cinnamon Bear. I bet you they would go like, oh, wow, that's so cool. But they're overstimulated by other things. So they're not impressed. They were not impressed. Maybe they would be impressed now, but they were not impressed before. Well, you saw what I was doing with the Star Wars story. Yeah, yeah. Like I tell you what they did like. They did like the uh, the treehouse. The Magic Treehouse, was it called? The series? Uh, <laughs> Magic Treehouse, the old school treehouse, the treehouse treehouse. I know what you mean. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a... Stories that were also like yeah. radio dramas as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there the, were the, the, the two kids Book that were traveling, well, traveling through books into different times and places. They liked mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, I should find that and play that for them again. I think they should get half an hour every day of this ima imagination play. No, maybe they're doing it. Right now, because I mean, what are they? What are they doing right now? Building a space there? station. They're building a space station, yeah. right? So, uh, bas basically, NASA is redundant <laughs> because they, they don't really uh, do anything. NASA just does the same thing, only with bigger Lego bricks. And uh, it's more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. obviously, bigger Lego bricks would be. Small Lego bricks are pretty freaking expensive. Yeah, well, expensive. look, if, if, if one man like Richard Branson or Elon Musk can put something into space and NASA as a giant organization can't, um, there's obviously something wrong with NASA. Not just the fact that it was just a place to hide all the German scientists after the Second World War, a bit of history, um, but... Uh, oh, by, th by the way, did you know? No. Did you know in the JFK files that were released? Oh, we're, we're going to wait, wait for it. Wait for it. We're going to get cut off the internet again. That goes this paranoia again. Yeah. No, I was going to tell you a fact, mm -hmm. but obviously, you're obviously you're one of these people whose brain can't handle facts that go against the the, the, the mainstream of What? things. I just said I'm that you're paranoid because because you think that Facebook cut us off on purpose. That's what I meant. I don't think it, don't think it was Facebook. I thought, thought I thought it was Google. Google. But, um, oh, there you go. Uh, anyway, but if, if you just continue with the continue with the JFK files, I I have not commented on that at all yet. No, right. Well, um, according to the JFK files that uh, the American administration under uh, 
with Mr. Trumpet released. Um, there are files that show the <coughs> CIA and other organizations tracking Hitler in Argentina in the 1950s. And they've got pictures and uh, documents from the period of time that show that he never died and he was still alive. Not only that, they've tracked how he got there, the submarine he used, and uh, and so on, according to the documents. So there was there that Hitler never died at the end of the Second World War. He actually survived and moved with his administration to uh, Argentina. To Argentina. Now, if you um, if you remember, there was no body. I don't remember. Okay. I wasn't there. You weren't there. Right. <laughs> well, you should have been. You should. You just. Oh, people these days are so I lazy. I missed right? it. Uh, with all this time travel available. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that it was going live on the internet as well. Well, it was, yeah, f Facebook Live, right? Yeah, yeah. they all Facebook Lived it. Yeah, can, can, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I don't um, want to. Um, <sighs> anyway, uh, uh, I, I thought that, that that's pretty interesting. So there's a, there's a series... Uh, Online, I think it's called Hunting Hitler or Tracking Hitler or something. That for for years they've been collecting documents on this, and mm -hmm. there was an interview with the uh, uh, the person who does the main research for the program, and they say they now have enough documents to be able to release it officially that Hitler never died at the end of the Second World War. He was moved by the American government administration to South America where he worked with the American government to fight against communism. When did he die? I don't have that information. I don't am know. just going by the, the interviews and documents okay. that have been That's released interesting. so far. Didn't people recognize him in Argentina? Uh, Argentinians yeah. go, hey, look at that, that's Hitler. Um, first of all, he shaved he his was mustache. You would think that he would do that. You would think that you would shave, shave your mustache yeah. and maybe have a little bit of plastic surgery or something, right? Uh, no, not but, even that. But apparently he didn't. He was so well protected that it was unnecessary. And several people at the time did say that they had seen him, but everyone thought that they were crazy, right? Mm -hmm. um, because that went against the official story. And mm -hmm. for, things, for things to move on, you have to bump off the... Uh, the people in the way, right? Yeah, but, 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 let's go back to the beginning. Welcome to Practical Parenting Podcast. Not that <laughs> beginning. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. The end. When the he end. killed himself. Uh, allegedly. Let's go back to the right? end. And you let's said go that. back to the future. <laughs> and you said there was no body. Wouldn't they at least try to fake a body? Yeah, I think that he had body doubles. That was part of his... Uh, um, intelligence. Yeah, but network, you just said yeah. there was no body. Yeah, there, there, there was no Hitler's body, right? All there was were, were bones and uh, theoretically some dental records, which could have been faked. Mm, so, that, uh, okay. so it's very Hi. hard. To, <coughs> it's very hard to say. What's up, baby? Because of course they say that. Um, oh they, wow! They Are you gonna give some to daddy? Oh, careful there. What's this, darling? There. Is this some ice cream? Yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, it's ice cream. These two Duplo blocks that you think are Duplo blocks are actually ice cream. Now, what flavor is it? Is it... Uh, the chocolate? No. no. Strawberry. strawberry. Of course, right. it's strawberry. Because it's pink on the top there, right. What kind of uh, ice cream do you have? This is strawberry. Is that vanilla? Oh, you've got chocolate. Ice cream. Okay. And... I have to unless I do this, she's not happy. That's her gone. You can stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it's, it's so yummy. <laughs> it's so nice. Um especially in the strawberry part. Give me some. You'll be fat. Right. Um Well look, like, I'll just eat the strawberries and you can have the ice cream. <laughs> No, that's the strawberry ice cream. That's the cone. Can't you see? Oh, that's the cone. Yes. Yeah, that. <laughs> My imagination doesn't stretch that far. It's obviously a cone. Obvious. Obviously, by the co I should have got it by the color, of course. Ah, right. There we go. Seaweed, daddy. Seaweed. 
<laughs> what? So, excuse me? Yes. <laughs> so he was... Apparently seaweed is very healthy. So he, so he lived in Argentina. You get all that... Um, what is that stuff you get from seaweed? The uh, iodine. Yeah. Some, some, some seaweed, obviously not all seaweed. Well, you don't want to just like dive into the water and start munching. Right. I mean... <laughs> There's, there's obviously a right way and a wrong way to do that. What's up, baby? So, um, oh, would you like the ice cream back, darling? Thank you. Thank it was you lovely. Thank you very much. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> She's got a great business. <sighs> Continuously selling the same ice cream to uh, <laughs> to everybody again and again. <laughs> For pretend money. Well, I have a lot of all money. money. Is all money is pretend money. Didn't you know? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Trying to tell it to the people in Bila. <laughs> um, well, that's why they're working in Bila, isn't it? Um, that and the, the lack of quality education. Um, the <sighs> fact oh, that I the you never know. <laughs> the I, may, I might pick up some work in Bila, actually. Yes? Would you, would you like that? Would you? <laughs> would you like that? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? That'll be two pounds fifty, please. Thank you very much. Hello, you how are you? You don't say that in Bila. We don't nice pay you pounds. We well, pay uh, okay, with okay. Euros. So I was generalizing for the general public. The general public doesn't them. pay with pounds, but with yens. What? And dollars. The general public. Yeah. What about British people? They pay with pounds. Yeah, I know, but British people are like. I think this much. What does that mean? Compared oh, to... Oh, thank you, darling. Compared to the people who pay in dollars. Oh, and I've got some more ice cream. What flavor... Yens. Oh, th yeah, take the money, darling. Take the money, it's all yours. Uh, yeah, British people pay with pounds, absolutely. I'm just... Is, um, this, is this according to your philosophy? Hmm? Uh, this, is, uh, this is two cones. No. It's one what? cone and one scoop of vanilla ice cream. Which is which? How am I supposed to know? This is the cone, this is the vanilla ice cream. So it goes like that. Mm -hmm. mm. Stop eating so much ice cream. You know, tell me. It's going to make any sense on the podcast. No, People it's can't not. Can't see, it's not. can't see that um, <laughs> the Duplo um, is um, masquerading as ice cream no. on a cone. It's not going to have uh, make any sense on the podcast or on the videos either. <coughs> Just like the it's ice cream, it's like the whipped like ice cream with the with the chocolate flavor. It's gonna be like, what are they doing? What, what? the? What parenting? I thought the, this is supposed to be about parenting, and all he's done is rant on about Hitler and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What a, co what a complete waste of my time! Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going to go somewhere else on the internet and rant and rave about how bad everything is, and how wrong everyone is. And 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 I'm not in any way repressed about my own history and the I the <laughs> sorry. So, uh, actually, something like that happened yesterday on Facebook what, under, under one of our videos. <laughs> good, 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 good. Because um, be, be, yeah. because I refuse. Uh, no, this is this is uh, this is inside information, right? But it's just for you and me, right? <laughs> just, just <laughs> and out you, you, you and me, and <clears throat> those people out there. However, they do it with their hands. I'm not sure, right? Um, I don't read any comments. Good for you. Under I don't read any comments on anyone else's pages because I'll tell you why. I don't have time. Good. I am too busy being constructive and productive and proactive to care about what anyone else is writing on somebody else's page. If I create content and I post it somewhere, I'm adding to to whatever exists there. So if I create a video about a specific topic and uh, I link it to somebody's page, that gives them traffic that gives them information that gives them mm -hmm. discussion topics that gives them everything else i'm, I'm damned if i'm going to spend like a, an hour and a half of, of of my day doing that and giving people content and then on top of that giving them more traffic right by mm -hmm. writing comments there it, it's just completely unproductive 
And if other people want to do that, that that that's cool because that you know that's called uh, free choice and free expression, and that's great. But in my experience on YouTube, 19 out of every 20 comments are criticisms in mm -hmm. one way or another. Um, and the, the one comment that is a nice video or great work, I reckon they're just little bots on the internet. <laughs> because I think, I think unless you specifically target an element of the content, it's mm -hmm. a bot. Mm -hmm. like, unless you specifically go into the content and pull out something and mm -hmm. comment on that thing, I think that there are there are a lot of systems on the internet. We know already because the, the Twitter got caught with fake followers yeah, and yeah, Facebook yeah, got yeah. caught with... Uh, with with uh, in, in, fake liking posts and stuff. Instagram so. Instagram constantly has to mm. has to remove automatic postings and likes and things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so um, um, it's not even real because it, it it it's it's got into the unreal stuff because you can now schedule your posts. Mm -hmm. So you can you can sit down on a Sunday evening and go, I'm gonna put that that'll be Monday at two o'clock, that'll be Monday at four o'clock, that'll be Tuesday at eight o'clock mm -hmm. and you know, people will be like, Oh wow, that's great and that's Somebody's you know, thinking, here. Yeah, they'll yeah, they'll be like, Oh look, she's online, she just posted something. Well, no, that was just my little machine doing yeah, the work. And so for the great me. thing about doing this video <coughs> live and direct on the internet, nothing is pre recorded, nothing is edited out, everything's live, everything's in real time. And I've ranted before about other people saying live and then doing a posting a pre recorded video mm -hmm. so it's not live. No, no, that's all. <laughs> that's that's all fake stuff. You want to join the revolution? Go live and put your <laughs> put put your money. I was going to say something else. There. Put your money where your mouth is. Get out in real time and do a real post about everything that's going on don't don't worry you know about that pointing editing your finger like that's really aggressive it's a really aggressive gesture all oh, right um <laughs> should i point my head instead like no you people all out there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you you've, you've been doing that anyway only with the finger there that's <laughs> when, when my hands are behind my back i um, yeah i get but it's a message to the people that that if you're jumping around on the internet and you're gonna, you know, take one line or one sentence or one idea from the the the, the, the thousands of videos mm -hmm. that, that I've been involved in creating, and be negative about it, y you you're you you're not gonna you're not gonna engage me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> in, in, in I think I well, I, the way I look at it is, um, I think that reacting to people's. Um, questions or constructive criticism is a positive thing because we care about the people who watch us we care about people's questions that they are asking us you know um, when it comes to our videos or the things that we're presenting but triggered hateful you know comments full of words taken out of context is that's not a that's not a good thing to really react well, to. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's this, this, there are all these little people on the internet who, who all they do is get attention by being uh, negative towards something, anything, everything, and nothing. Mm -hmm. And um, th th these, these are people that don't have friends. Right? And I think these are, peop these are people that don't have friends. Well, I don't know they if they do or don't, cause, cause, cause because I don't know if, they've, if they've got friends who are like themselves, then they're not actually really friends, because you know the people like that can't have real friends because they can't express real empathy, they can't express real emotions. They've obviously got issues. They're unhappy with their lives. They're unhappy with the past. They're unhappy with the things about them. They feel powerless to change things in their own lives, which is crazy because we could help, right? All we we could set in place in motion a series of of uh, of good habits in people's lives that can turn things around. It is possible. Uh, I've seen it done. It does require work, but um, most people are 
sitting in their their easy chair at their at their desk and they're spitting out this venom and and hate. I wouldn't say and most people, it was just one person. Um Okay. Uh, okay. Th- yeah, that was a mistake. Absolutely. I. I. Sorry. That was okay. a mistake. Yeah. There were. Yeah. There were. There were people there, there in the thread actually who said who said you're you're just you know you're not listening and and you're just taking things out of context. And yeah. Well, that's. Blah, 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 so. but, but what they're doing is they're feeding <coughs> in to that person's ego. Yeah. 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 Because that person knows. It just gets them fired up. That that person knows when they write the comment that other people are going to be drawn in by that negativity. Mm-hmm. But when I was a when I was a kid, mm-hmm. there was no such thing as hate speech. It didn't exist. She started bullying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's um it's just an inability to control your own emotional state and the internet gives you a platform to vent at other people that uh or Basically, those in the know, when they see those comments, know that this is a deranged person, right? They mm. know, so they know they know who to avoid. And I like, um, uh, I like that Ryan Lee has the, the Freedom Network, right? Mm-hmm. The, the the Entrepreneurial Business Skills Network, and um, his policy is uh, one strike. He says, you make any negative comment, you make any problem anywhere across his Facebook network, you're gone. There, there's no second chance. Who no is who says? Ryan Lee. Okay. It's, it's uh, the, the Freedom Entrepreneurs Network, right? What do you mean by any negative comment? Well, it's... What, what if somebody criticizes his, his, his work? Would um, that be... If it's, if it's not constructive and there's, there's elements of uh, uh, negativity and hate within it, they're gone. Mm-hmm. They're gone. That's it. Instantly. They're out of the group because who wants that? And, and he knows that he's there to protect his tribe. Mm-hmm. He's there to protect people who, who follow him, him who want to be creative and proactive and productive. And there are, uh, you know, I've been working recently with, with technological aspects and I've on, on uh, what is called essentially digital literacy mm-hmm. uh, in learning. And I've run into gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. There are certain people who are well known, who have organized big forums on the internet, and who will not let any of my posts on their pages mm-hmm. because. Um, and this is, you know, I've I've tried very hard to fit into their guidelines. I've tried very hard to post something which is creative and productive and instructive for people. Mm-hmm. Uh, no self-promotion mm-hmm. and uh, they will not allow any of my posts on their page but they will allow um, they will allow a lot of posts like uh, uh, this phrasal verb means this <laughs> half a page about one phrasal verb mm-hmm. so um, they, they are these gatekeepers in place mm-hmm. uh, controlling the the flow of information and I think limiting it in a very negative way on on the internet. Now, you 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 have to protect your tribe, you have to protect your group, you have to protect your brand, and that's all good. But be honest about it, right? Mm. These people are like this group is open to everyone, but it's not. Mm. It's really not. These are the guidelines. As long as you follow the guidelines, everything will be okay. But it's not. So they're, yeah, they're, they're yeah, not, they're but you know, guidelines say no marketing. And if you if you post your own work and link up to your own website or to your own YouTube channel, that is considered, uh, according to them, to, to be marketing. Doesn't matter whether you sell anything or not. You're marketing yourself. You see, that's that's retarded. Yeah, no. That's retarded and backwards because every time a person makes a post. They're marketing something. They're marketing some. You can't avoid marketing. I mean, yeah. you, you know, you know, you know my speech about it. My speech about it is we're all prostitutes, right? I'm not. We are all prostitutes, and until we until we come to terms with that fact, we're all we all in life have to sell our skills. We all have to sell ourselves. We have selling to sell selling is skills. Don't make a prostitute. Prostitute sells sexual pleasure. 
You know what I mean. <sighs> saying we all bend over, right? Oh, that's <laughs> a silly analogy. No, it's not because people remember it. You need something striking and visual that people are going to remember. And when I'm working with my with my teenage students, that's the, that's the image I use because I know that they'll never forget it, right? We all have to sell. Our, all we've got to work with is us, right? Our body and our mind. And if you don't work with your mind, what do you end up selling? Your body. If you don't work with your mind, you end up selling your body. And like that's the... That, in my opinion, is, is, is the, it's not the lowest of the low level because there's nothing wrong with... with Working mar- manually? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not s- saying What are that. you saying? <laughs> right, because that's a, that's a skill which requires thought. It's not just... Well, you could have just like, okay, dig a hole, right? I mm-hmm. mean, someone tells you dig a hole, you're like, oh, dig a hole. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, that's... Um, What's the point? The the working manual is not the law lowest of, of the law. It's, well, it's no, not something yeah, that's what necessarily I'm saying. wrong. Yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not something necessarily wrong in, in, in any sense, but we need people to think. We need cognitive ability. Otherwise we'd just be like the the brain dead zombies right, just just kinda dragging our of course food we need people behind to us. Think, yeah, but I don't think it's either or more time well here, here's the more and less philosophy right more time on this is less time on this life is limited right yes but more you can't you wait, can't. wait 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 <laughs> not finished more time on this is less time on this life is limited mm-hmm. yeah so if you if you spend uh more time focusing on generating income through your physical attributes mm-hmm yeah that's less time that you can spend developing in- income on your on your mental attributes it's just it's just a simple equation right well no a, because a balance a balance is nice no right? no because if i'm a, if i'm say um, a trainer right if i'm a coach okay and uh, i do i have an online business uh, you know promoting my my training videos and, and yeah, like programs no, like a lot of people do then i am using my body to make my money but i'm at the same time using my mind to make my money as well isn't that just what i said a balance is nice <laughs> it's the very last the last thing i said oh yeah i'm just trying nice. to point out it's not like a either either mind or body. yeah but i'm trying to because these, these these kids i have to go uh, wipe butt what wipe butt wipe butt i thought she could wipe her own butt Ah, well, these things, these things, right. So when I'm working with my uh, teenage students on development and and plans for the future, um, I think it's really important to understand there's only two things that you've you've got that you can use, your body and your mind, and those two things together make you who you are. Now, some people get to use their, their their body and the physical attributes and as, as aspects much more they they um they do it in sport or they have some manual work that they do um which uh, gives them other opportunities in life or you have the 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 mental and psychological aspect you work with your mind uh, and creativity you try to find solutions to certain problems. Now, we all know that we need a balance. We all know that we need a relationship between these two things. We all know that, um, that, that there's a relationship between both. You can't have a, a healthy body without having something akin or similar to, to a healthy mind, a healthy mindset or a growth mindset. Um, we, we, we see that in the world around about us. Now, that doesn't mean that everybody has to go out and do fitness activities every day, but we all know that it, uh, it, 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 it helps. We all know that it helps whether you're doing uh, your, your, your active relaxation like, like jogging or your, your more passive relaxation mental abilities like yoga and meditation. So all, all of these elements are very important, but the way I... The way I get it across to the teenage students is that, look, we're all prostitutes, right? All you've got to work with is you. And if you don't develop your mind, you're left with your body, 
right? So that's why I'm telling the students, develop your mind because you don't want to be stuck, left just with your physical body. Because hmm. that's not going to put you in a good place in life because there'll be people that outsmart you and outthink you. You've got to be ready for that. So, uh, so, that's <coughs> so, so that's that. And there's, um, there's a lot of people out there who are... The <laughs> They're not as <laughs> developed as, as they should be. The, the internet is a fantastic place for um, people who haven't grown up to explore their, 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 their fantasies and their fantasy world. Yeah. And, and uh, a lot of free time to just blah. On my jog up that hill, which no one can see over mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. through the forest and back around, mm -hmm. I meet so many people just walking walking in the forest what's yeah. wrong with that <laughs> it's, like I could, it, it, it's, it's like you're jogging on this lower uh, it's a physical activity it's, it's fresh it's air it's probably looking for mushrooms <laughs> I could point them out because I'm like oh, I see them as I'm sort of going around but I, I, I sort of but they probably wonder the same thing about me. They're probably like, yeah, why, is he, why is he running? Doesn't he have a job? <laughs> is, it, is, is anybody he, chasing him? Because <laughs> I, was, I was up on the hill looking down over the, the town. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was all very still, peaceful, and quiet. And it, it sort of had this ambience of perfect organization where you just imagine that that everybody's busy doing something is it raining out there sorry i was <laughs> just, <laughs> just wondering <laughs> you're not listening to me at all everybody's busy everybody's busy mm -hmm. uh, yeah and uh, I, I just thought that's uh, an amazing piece of social organization that everyone is busily going somewhere and doing something. Um, that, that there's, there appear to be just from looking down over the town. I was obviously just it was just a passing thought yeah. in my head. I was like, oh wow, that's kind of per, per, perfect organization. That well, that you know, there's no. <laughs> this I mean, going crazy. either people are going somewhere. <laughs> if all people are going somewhere. Or if they take the time to just go nowhere, and uh, then you look at them and think, don't they have any jobs to do, right? So, <laughs> well, um, does that tell you something? To see that you are perfect part of that perfect organization. What? 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 What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying that you are a perfect part of that perfect organization where everybody's going somewhere, busy doing something. Yeah. Wasn't there a song, Busy Doing Nothing, Nothing the Whole Day Through? I seem to remember that from my childhood. Is anyway. that about me? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that would be busy staring at a web screen with a strange look on my face all day. It was a puzzled I wish, expression. I wish. I wish that was what I was doing all day. No, no? I don't wish that, actually. And I don't do that all day. <laughs> <laughs> looking, at things, looking at things with a puzzled, puzzled expression. Right. Um, I do wear a puzzled expression quite often, though. That's true. Things puzzle me. Is that by choice? Um, just, well, just my face there. expresses my feelings, so I'm often puzzled. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're always like, you're making faces. Well... There's there's things happening behind that face, and it kind of transpires. I'm not sure that that's the right word. No. <coughs> transpires. It it. If effects maybe. It shows. It shows. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's better. It shows. Absolutely. It transpires. Because tran transpire is. Really sweats. Is <laughs> No, that's 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 perspire. That's perspire, yeah. okay. <laughs> Transpire is a r usually a slow realization over a period of time. Okay, I thought I thought it. I, I wanted to say it seeps through. You've been watching too many horror films, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> Not enough. Well, um, hello, darling. Do you have I a live in a horror film. <laughs> she said. The house. The Lego house we're gonna make. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We're, we're, we're using logic, so it belongs to everybody. Go and uh, tell Will to share. It's slightly communist logic, but. Um, <laughs> as long as there's not a lot of destruction going on, it's sort of okay that everybody contributes. I like how uh, Sora can say sh. And she says, Sir. "Well, she still gets the past forms wrong, and I, I, and I don't want, to, I don't want to correct her because it's so sweet." Even the well sometimes get him wrong. I, I had it in ice cream. <laughs> yeah, that is cute. Yeah, and I, 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 I've just let it go because, just because. Right. Yeah, I'm wondering whether I should start training the pronunciation a little bit more, you know, because she's going to start writing soon. And if she doesn't get the pronunciation, she's gonna she can she could have problems with spelling when she writes. Well, nobody ever has problems with spelling in English. It's not like we speak differently <laughs> from how we write. Bah. Because when person can't pronounce a a vowel, mm -hmm. they usually can't identify it, or they have a problem identifying it in the word. When you, like in the dic dictation, you know, if she can't say sh, mm -hmm. then she will she will. Subconsciously identify everything as a s and uh -huh. write it that way. Uh -huh. um, well, the children have to go through a very complex process mm -hmm. during that yeah. um, period of time. Anyway, although don't underestimate their abilities, right? Yeah, I know. I know. I was just wondering whether I should mm. try and correct it a little bit. Maybe I don't know. Well, you can. As long as you don't like overdo it every mm -hmm. time. Right? Yeah, of course there would be through play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. In in moderation, these things are are, are funny. Um, ah, that'll be the horror film that you were talking about. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Her way of expressing, I don't like that very much. Yeah, she screams and scratches. Oh dear! Oh dear! That's a, or yeah, maybe I. Should you want to go? On? Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Check it out, and I'll do a little bit of a. I'll do a little bit of a segue into um into <laughs> into play. We <laughs> they built they've built a house and um now they are uh, all three of they built a house out of Lego uh the ultimate toy and uh so Will is uh eight and um Zora is going to be five in what's the date today? The eighth. She'll be five on the fifteenth, so that's in a week. And Jazzy is two and a half, just over two and a half. So J Jazzy is still developing her communication skills and her principles of, of understanding uh, possession and, and obligation. That, um, of course, she tends to think that everything belongs to her. And we have to go through the slow process of explaining that there are some things that are hers, but not everything is is hers, and of course, over time, these principles can change as well. So um, we do that step by step, bit by bit. We've done it with the older children, and uh, it's interesting the way the older children pick up these ideas and also teach it to the younger children as well. You can't leave it to the children to teach the children, but um, it's part of the natural process anyway. So, uh, play. I was um, looking for some information about play that I could share because, to me, there's no difference between experiments and playing. The experiments is what we, is, is the adult term for what we do when we try things to see what the result will be. And uh, play is, is what we use with children when they try things to see what the result will be. Essentially, scientists are involved in the act of play as the same way as children are involved in the act of experimentation with, the, with, with their actions in the world where they observe what is happening and uh, the consequences of 
what it is that they do. Not only observing their own actions, but the actions of those around about them and the actions of the parents as well. So let's get a little bit of a, a report here from the other side. Welcome back. How's it going in the bedroom? Um, Jasmine was trying to take apart the uh, the house that, that they, they built, built. Okay. because there was an inbuilt computer that controlled the spaceships that were coming in, and she wanted to get to the inbuilt computer, so she needed to take a part of the wall apart. Oh, naturally, just like the people downstairs. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, th so um, <laughs> Will had a ma major panic attack, to use his own words. <laughs> 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 I'm having a major panic attack, <laughs> Mom. He's That's like good. He can verbalize it. Yeah. Rather than just having it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. He, he knows what it is. That's cool. Right. Um, let's um, uh, let's do the yay or nay hit and miss with this. I've collected <laughs> some quotes about play, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll run through them quickly, mm -hmm. and we will see if we agree, disagree. We'll see what they mean to us. Try that then. Here we go. Right. Number one. Play is our brain's favorite way of learning. Yes. Uh, moving on. Sorry. Right. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Short, <laughs> short answers. Yes, <laughs> it is. We all like to play. I like to play. Do you like to play? Yeah, I think there's an element of play in all creativity and all things that are new. There, there's an element of play there. Um, I think that very often when things become boring, it's because the element of play is missing. There we go. Right. Number two. Um, I shouldn't have to defend play for children any more than I should have to defend their eating, sleeping and breathing. Absolutely. Yes. I don't even question that. I, uh, you know, when, when, when I told, used to tell Will to do something like a chore, right? He was around Zora's age, or or even five. And, you know, I would tell him, Will, come and do this. Mm -hmm. And he would say, but I'm busy, ma'am. I'm playing. <laughs> I would always acknowledge that as his work, because that is his work. He was he was actually really busy playing, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I would, like, say, okay, we'll wait. Mm -hmm. If it could wait. Okay, that's cool. So, um, yeah, I, I agree. We shouldn't have to defend at any time what's natural. Yeah, play shouldn't be underestimated as a secondary or un unimportant activity for kids. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm, moving on. <laughs> Number three. The debt we owe to the play of the imagination is incalculable. <laughs> <laughs> There's <laughs> talking about imagination. It's a stormtrooper. <laughs> oh, it's just you. I thought it was a real stormtrooper. We thought it was a stormtrooper. Yeah. Wow. You're so good at that. <laughs> Can I see that? Can I see the mask? You just go to scare. You just scared us. You scared us, darling. We we thought a real stormtrooper was coming to get us. <laughs> we thought we were going to be taken away to the imperial mines of whatever planet. Yes. I don't know. Will would know which planet they were. Yeah. Yeah. Just from the Star Wars. Star Wars. She was. Um, <laughs> did she just do the Darth Vader breathing there? Um, I don't know. I can't, <laughs> I can't see what's going on. Um, something, something going on there. Not sure what it is. Crazy. Oh, no. so Sorry. What was number three? Well, it's the debt we owe to to the play of the imagination is incalculable. Um, I don't so understand that. Okay, it, it, it's from Carl Jung, so uh, that probably explains <laughs> why we don't understand it. The debt it. we owe. Yeah, it's just saying that um, the uh, that life means nothing without the use of the human imagination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. <laughs> moving, moving. And we 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 also through through play we also make connection. I mean, as adults, as children as well, obviously, naturally. But even as adults, we, we um, connect through play. I was thinking about the amazing parenting video that we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about you 
replacing the word love with connection. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was good. Yeah. Uh, yeah good. I good. Right. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> talk about it anymore. If you want to know more about what we talked, you can find the uh, the new series of amazing parenting videos on our YouTube channel. Yes, and the old series, the old series, the first series. The old is series that we finished last week, yes, which is, is old. Yes, it's not very old. It's being transformed into a whole big complex and and amazing and fun and and uh, what else? Uh, give me some superlatives. Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> the I greatest ever um, course, um, email course. So if anybody's interested. <laughs> the greatest ever. Ever, ever in the history of humankind. There's quite a few of those. Right. Okay. Uh, there's quite a few of those greatest ever in the history of humankind courses. Yes, but yeah. ours is the greatestest. The most greatestest. <laughs> yes. Oh, excellent. Right. Ever. E V A H, right? Uh, yes. Eva. Yes. To be in the history of universe. To be cool. Yeah, I was uh, doing my presentation about the technical stuff this mor this morning, mm -hmm. and I said the <laughs> the the cools are tool. Couple <laughs> 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 words mixed up. <laughs> maybe maybe you're confused by the ghouls that we were watching yesterday. Oh, the stormtrooper again. Oh, I'm it's only it you. Hot. Didn't know who that was under the mask there. <laughs> yeah, you do it so well. Right, what's, what's Just let her come all the way here when, when she comes next time. She's... What's up, sweetie? I think she's had enough. Yeah, she's tired. Uh, she said, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how what. Anyway, never mind. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that now. Every time I feel like that, I'm, I'm just gonna say I don't know how. <laughs> I'm probably going to be repeating it from everything, now on. Until everything I know, I learned from my kids, right? Mm -hmm. That's probably a book somewhere. I'm quite sure. <laughs> Someone's probably done that. Oh wow! Can you bring that over here, guys? Guys, bring that over here. That looks amazing. Oh, let come as well. You come over here as well. That's it. Let's let's show it first. Hey, can, can I have a look at it? Is that okay, Jazzy? Can no, I maybe, have a look at it? maybe have we can. Yes, yes, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll give it. Uh huh. Oh, can you can you let her have a look at can it? I? Jasmine, you can have a look at it, but don't destroy it, okay? Jazzy, can you, if, if if Will gives it to you, can you give it to me? No. No. <laughs> right. Um. Is it okay if I have a look at it for just 30 seconds, Jazzy, and then I'll give it to you? Hey, Jazzy, what if Will gives it to me and I give it to you? No. No? Yep. No, that didn't work either. Okay. What's the other one? next strategy? Um. Uh, well, can we put it on here and look at it together? No. No? Okay. What, what Will, what, Will, what's going to happen if you put it down on the cushion there? No, she will not if you put it on this cushion right here that I'm pointing at, my friend. No, the I'm orange not pointing cushion on the floor. The other orange cushion, because they is pointing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, Jazzy, we'll put it down, but you're not allowed to take it apart. Okay, you're not allowed to run away. You're not allowed to take it apart. Yes. Okay. Will, could you put? It? Will, Will, if you don't put it down in the next ten seconds, everyone is going to. Wow. Okay, you guys can play with it there, okay, but don't take it anywhere else. Make sure it stays on the cushion, because the cushion is the home for the house right now. Imagine the cushion is a cloud. She's tired. She's um, going to lose it. She, uh, mm -hmm. I think she's hungry, so... Can I go and... Uh, what's, what's up? Huh? Can I... I'm lost now. Can I leave for a minute? Are you going to, you're going to I deal, do something deal, deal, deal with things that need to be dealt with? Once again, let's tell a phone a friend. Hey, it's dope, man. Um, yes, <laughs> weird, obscure lyrics from the 80s and 90s. My, my head is full of them. Um, have you tried jogging? 
to the music of Marillion. That's what I was doing today, jogging to the music of Marillion. It's uh, it's interesting, it's very interesting, um, very spacey, melodic, uh, journey-like, experimental. It's very interesting, it's very interesting. I find something new every time I listen. So it's definitely not your three-minute throwaway pop song. It's definitely far more complex than that. Um, strange how I missed the band the first time round. Uh, well, I guess we discover these things as we get older. There we go. So, we were talking about play. Uh, moving on from Carl Jung, the next quote about play is, almost all creativity involves purposeful play. Uh, ab- absolutely purposeful play. Play that has some kind of direction. And not all play needs direction. You can get the, the kids in the park with a football kicking it around just because they want to kick it around and run around and get the energy out of themselves. But um, once you add a purpose, like uh, you know, goal, getting scoring a goal or, or adding points, suddenly it becomes more interesting. So definitely a purpose is important in all elements of creativity. The purpose can be defined by the kids themselves. Or if you want, if you want to try, you can try to define it for them. But I would listen to what what the kids see as as important. Hey, hey guys, can you um, can you can you show me what you've built? Can I see what you built? Can you bring it over here, and I will uh, show. Okay, so there's there's this house, okay, and there's a plane. I'll put the plane on here, okay. And and what's the, what's that? There's another part. What's that? That's a that's an that's an enemy plane. That's an enemy plane. Okay, that's a, that that's that's an enemy plane. Okay, that's cool. Thank you very much. Um, and this this guy this guy lives in the house, right? Ah, okay. Oh, they've got a little, little, little kind of pillbox army, kind of World War Two kind of space here, so that they can, uh, they can uh, shoot, shoot their guns out of it. Okay. Um, there's no door. There's no door, guys. How, do, how do people get in and out? There's no windows either. You're pretending it's a hologram door. Uh, how do I know where the door is? Do I just like walk into the wall continuously until until I find the magic door, or um, or is there some other system? That'd be nothing new. <laughs> this wall, this wall. There's a door here. Okay, there's an imaginary door there. Yes. No, it's a hologram door. It's a hologram door. It's not imaginary. It's a real hologram door. <laughs> Obviously, it's a Lego hologram. It's a pretend real Lego hologram. Lego hologram. Oh, that's too much for my brain. Right. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. They have to go and eat now. Go, guys. Chop, uh, chop. We'll, we'll look after this. Okay. okay. We'll make sure that. Uh, and the, uh, yes. Well, yeah, we'll make sure that nothing happens to it. Oh, and me. Mahaha. And Okay, Danny, go and eat. I think when they both talk to me at the same time, I never know who to listen to. Just split your attention. It's just, just, <laughs> just, <laughs> right? If you, if I could just have your attention, what is that? Okay, for half a second, or what is that? Really what? Well, probably on Dad's place. Yeah, don't fall off the ball. <laughs> Dad sits on a football because he's weird. Yeah. Right. Because um, he had nowhere else to put it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because I, I, I don't sit that much. But I did want to sit on the ball, so I thought that you know sitting at the table on the ball would be practical. That's true, because you've got the standing desk, so you don't really have anywhere else to sit on the ball. 
other than at the table. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And if we put the ball in the living room... Oh my God. <laughs> Don't even go there. <laughs> everything would be destroyed, right? Yes. yes. Don't even go there. Yeah. Right. There were like 700 accidents per day. Uh, at least. <coughs> it's Plus, minus. Well, that would be just the morning. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, the first thing, because <laughs> the first thing you want to do in in the morning <coughs> after you get up is... Throw yourself at a big bowl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm? Yes. Big bouncy rubber one. Yes. Anyway, uh, moving on. Number uh, four. Oh, we d I did number four while you were away. Did you? Yes, I uh, don't want to bore people. Okay, so, number uh, five. Number five. You don't remember the times your dad held the handlebars. You remember the day he let go. Mm. So you, you don't remember all the little uh, ways that your parents helped you and kept you safe, but you do remember those critical moments when they stepped back and I do let actually. you I experience do. something for yourself. My dad never held the handlebars, though. Ever? Well... Did he want <laughs> you to crash? <laughs> <laughs> it was my mum, and she held the, ba the back of the bike. She held the seat. You can't go anywhere if someone's holding the seat. Well, she was running. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been practical. Yeah, she was running behind amusing. the bike. and uh, Well, when you hold the handlebars, you're running next to the bike as well. So, it's not that much difference. But, you know, she would not hold the Nobody ever held the handlebars for me because I had those little stabilizer wheels. Yeah, but yeah. You, you must have taken them off at some point. Yeah, I... It's <coughs> kind of weird because I remember that. Yeah. Who took them off? But, <laughs> but once again, I've got these false memory projections, where I can see myself. Uh, so that's so obviously no. not real. Yes, it is. But not if you can see yourself from the outside. Yes, like I can see is. myself. Those All my memories are like that. Yeah, but they're not real. No, no, it doesn't. We saw that here. This is really important. If your memory has you in the center of the image. Mm -hmm. It's not real. That's it not true. It cannot be real. Gee, that's not true. It cannot be real. Can, uh, can it cannot be a real memory. You, you w something similar to that happened, but there's no way. There is no way physically. There's no way psychologically. There's no way biologically. There's no way scientifically, unless you had a video camera or something like that there that that can be real. We there's never no had way. a video camera. We were there's poor. No, so there's no, there's no way that the memory that you have can be real. What's happened is similar to that, but there's no way the memory that you had can be real. The only reality that exists is the reality that you see and experience through your senses. Okay. Can I speak now? Did you finish? Because I tried yeah, to speak and you would... Yeah, like but, I, but I had to explain that because... It's you don't, people, because it's, I it's got your point the first time that yeah, you yeah, said but it. it. But, it's, but not just for you, but for people out there, right? For, for okay. anyone who catches <coughs> up with this. Okay. this can it's I? really important. Now, I can't express this enough because people... Yes, you can. Make you already have. No, 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 no. People make the mistake of believing that those kinds of memories are real. And it, it's a problem because they're not. I'm pretty sure that there is some kind of a psychological explanation. There's, there's there can't be. There, uh, pretty sure. Okay, that's not an argument. When you're a that, child, that, whoa, 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 something no, no, happens. So wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to really wait because I'm going no, to talk. No, it's really and important. I started and you I'm jumped pretty, into I'm it. Okay, okay, this is okay, really important as okay, well. Okay, okay. okay. I'll okay. say one more thing. Please, can I say one more thing? If you base an argument on a first premise that is false, the whole argument is false. I'm not basing no, anything on, whoa, whoa, on anything on whoa, what no, I said. But I'm constructively listening to what you say for logic. You're not, you're talking. If you're not listening to what I'm saying, and it's really important. I know what you said. Please listen I to know me. I'm listening. Please. I know what okay. you said. You're okay. saying that my first premise was wrong because I said that there are probably some psychological studies. Yeah, I get I, it. And so okay? You, so I'm not okay. stupid. You can talk, right? But you can't build any logical arguments. I'm argument. not building any logical arguments on that. 
Okay, and you I can't didn't build anything intend logic. to either. You can't, okay, okay, I, but this is really important because if you go on to talk about something and the first premise is incorrect, everything beyond that is incorrect. What was that, guys? What was that, what was that crashing and bashing sound in the kitchen? Well... The candle. The, 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 the pumpkin's got a candle in it which is burning. It's not burning. Anymore. It was burning this morning when I got up for breakfast. It's not burning anymore. Okay. Anyway, I was saying... The, pu the pumpkin has <laughs> crashed onto the floor probably. When you have it. memories, even when they're very fresh memories, you process them in your mind. You go over them again and again you process them okay I imagine this process as a child usually because it usually happens in in the evening so I imagine you know a child lying in the bed thinking about what happened today okay and they're processing this memory of them riding a bike and as they're processing the, m the memory of them riding a bike they think about you know when they where they were what it looked like what it smelled like what it looked like what they looked like, they try to imagine what their mom looked like when, when she was pushing them. And it's easily, you easily get from the actual sense of holding handlebars and feeling the air and feeling your mother pushing you from the back. You easily get to the outside, it's looking at yourself, it's processing it's the memory. It's not a logical process. I, I, I don't disagree with the language that you're using, but none of that is logical. That's how that I that uh, well. That's how I process my memories. That okay. Okay. Well, then. That's how I process okay, all my memories. That's, that's Everything that's I remember, I see from the outside looking at myself. Yeah, You're trying yeah, to tell me that I don't remember anything of my life. I'm telling you that those visions are not real because they can't be real because well, they never what, happened. Uh, no memory is real, G, because memory is in the past, so it's not real. Okay. And, and that's what I'm saying. You agree with me there because you're saying it's not real. Well, no, I real. don't agree with you because you just told me that it never happened. Okay. Is it better for you if I define it that it never happened that way? Yes, there's a big okay. difference between those okay, two. Okay, okay. Because whoa, it didn't whoa, 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 happen whoa, 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 that I learned down, riding a bike down, by my down, mother slow pushing down, me from the back. Slow, slow down, slow and down, I slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm slow not going to slow down. Yes, I'm but no, no, but you're going to make another... No, I'm not. Uh, you've already made a mistake and I can't point it out because you keep talking. Yes, because I want to finish. That and way... I understand uh, your that way because I'm not an idiot. I know that I was not levitating somewhere, looking at my body and looking okay, at my mother pushing me. Okay, that's a weird <laughs> abstraction where so you're getting defensive and very abstract and bringing in the impossible. Obviously, it didn't. This is very important. This that what way. Are there, watch this very. I important. know. This is a very important process. I know it didn't happen that way. Okay, I'm not an idiot. I know it ha I didn't happen. I haven't said that you're. I haven't said at any point. Now, now you're introducing way. something that I didn't say. I did not. Yes, say because she was it's an idiot. obvious. I because I already told you how the process of how the process of getting outside of your body and looking at your memory happened. How it happens with me. No, no, okay? no you didn't tell me how it happened. You said there's a jump. Excuse me? You said there's a jump. You I didn't you, you even you use the word jump. You didn't use in this the word jump. Absolutely not. I say all. jump because you said this very easily leads to this, but it doesn't in any sense. And then not if you well go into I any scientific laboratory, if you go to visit any psychologist, my if you go go and go and visit any anybody who works with the human mind, they will point out that that, that is not in any sense logical or natural. Okay, I know I was not outside looking at myself riding a bike, okay, but I know that that thing happened. And I know that that memory is real in the sense that it really happened. What's that noise? Okay. What's going on? Things are turning off and turning on somewhere. I don't know, it's your computer that's making the noises. I can't answer your questions. My computer doesn't make noises. It's turned off through there. Is so my computer? Yes. Well, then, whatever. It's my computer that's <laughs> making the noise. Yeah, yeah, yes, care. thank you very much for saying it was mine when it's impossible for it to be mine. <laughs> this is what I'm saying here, that people will say impossible things without analyzing them, them to
to, 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 to realize that understanding this logic is very important. What you remember, this thing called memory, is illusory, right? Now, your mother helped you learn to ride a bike. But when you look back and go into memory and look for this activity, your brain builds a false picture of what happened because there's no way that you can be outside of yourself. That would be a so-called out-of-body experience, and there's no science that, that proves that that, that, that that is real. People but have that doesn't about mean it, that it just no didn't happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I'm not... I, you just agree with the very first thing that I said. The very first thing I said was it happened, right? That was the very first thing I said, okay? So you're repeating what I said. Now, that memory is not real because it didn't happen that way. There was something that happened, but there's no way to process that reality without a video recording or an audio recording of that reality. And this has been proven scientifically again and again and again in uh, scientific studies of conversation where scientists wait 24 hours after a conversation between two people, try to get them to recreate the conversation, and it's so different from the original conversation and the people, even after 24 hours, are so convinced, well, I'd better be really, really, really important. Yes, you can have it. Go. Go. Right. He's getting better at his figurative dancing there. No, he's, he's, he's not getting any better at not interrupting. He still <laughs> interrupts. He's not getting any better at all. And then, he's, and then when I give him what he wants, he gets frustrated it's about it. It's because I so. told him he can have his tablet after half an hour of playing with his sisters mm. with the Lego. So. Okay, so th the whole point that I'm making, which is really, really, really important, is is that we create false memories for ourselves. Will... <laughs> That's, you're on two warnings of three, okay? If she has one it... More, one more time. Can you and, stop and you talking? Is you're not helping. Your, no, because he's, he knows that he can't interrupt us. And if you can't it. have it right now, then you're going to have to wait until I can solve the situation, okay? If you can't and solve it yourself, then you're going to have to wait until I'm finished and uh, until I can solve the situation for you. Okay, well, do, do you... What's up? Well, you... I can't even hear you, Will, because you're not well, talking. Well, you're not supposed... <laughs> Come here and say what you want to say. And can you do it quickly, please, because we're on a podcast and this is live on the internet. Um, what can I use to give to Jesse for the tablet? Well, we can't solve that problem right now. You're going to have to go to your room and stay there, okay? Or you can, or you can try and solve the problem, but don't, don't make her scream Will, or anything. Will, I'm going to ask you to go to your room and stay there because I asked you not to interrupt us during a podcast and you've done that. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I mean, he knows. Yes, but he had a problem. He doesn't have a problem at all. He waits. Explain to him he, he can wait. You you explained it to him, and he's like, blah 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 blah. I didn't didn't have any effect. So there. Well, I asked you to close the door. He has to learn to wait. He's got a thousand other things that he could do. Yes, but I told him that he can have it after a half an hour. Yeah, beginning. well, that was a okay. mistake if it was possible for Jazzy to get the tablet between now and then and us being on the podcast. That was a mistake. Because you can't be here and there at the same time. So if you promised him that you'd solve the problem there, you can't do that if you're here. I didn't promise him that I would solve a problem. I told him he can grab his tablet. Yeah, but you created the situation. Yes. Which required you to solve a problem that you can't solve. Well, I just I just told him that I will solve, solve it for him after we're finished, or he can try to solve it himself. You to which and you I said, both know to which what you, you said and that I he both can't. know that that's not going to work. You and I both no, know I what's don't. going to Okay, I, I do. don't know that. I do. I think you may be underestimating his abilities. No, no, no. I'm, I'm uh, under. I'm not underestimating his abilities. I know exactly what what the reaction is going to be, and I'm, I'm going to be left here all by myself as you go away and solve that problem that's been created. I prevented a problem. 
I have just prevented a problem from happening. Yeah? No. Yes, I have. I've just prevented there was going to be a problem. For sure, Jazzy was going to react. There would be screaming. There would Do be you noise. have no have way of knowing that? You have no, no, uh, no way of knowing that for yes, sure. I, I've got I no way of knowing that for sure, but nine times out of ten, that's what happens. So I'm going to go with the average. I told him specifically to see if he can solve it himself without creating a conflict. And you didn't give him the chance to try and see if he can solve it without creating a conflict. Because he would just come back here again and interrupt us again. That would be the result of that. He would go there, he would fail, he would come back and wave his arms and jump up and down again, and that, that would not get anything anywhere. That would be the result of the two possible results. Number one, Jazzy freaks out. Number two, he comes back and interrupts us again. Those are the two most probable results. Now, there's a third possibility, which is he... Uh, That's what I told him. No, either no, either solve the situation he, or uh, wait until we're finished. No, he, for, he wasn't going to wait un, un, until we're finished because that's why he was interrupting us. And the chances of him solving the situation by himself were probably about uh, 10 to 1. And so I'm going to go with those averages. I'm going to say somebody's got to make a decision to stop a problem. And if he has to wait 15 minutes, then that's it. He has to wait 15 minutes. But someone's got to make that decision. All right? Um, you know, he he could have solved that problem earlier without coming to us, and he didn't come to us. So um, I think he he did. He didn't come to us. Oh, never, ne never mind. I I've, I I've, I've don't think that I want to repeat everything again. Good. Right. So memories, when you are outside of yourself, seeing yourself, are false. Right. Yeah, you said that. They help us to orientate on past events, but these memories, and, and and science, and psychology has also shown that these memories can be manipulated and altered. That when we are told enough times that something did or did not happen, we then believe. If we're told it did happen, that it happened when it didn't. Or when we're told it didn't happen, it didn't happen when it did. The mind can be very easily influenced. Now, you want to go online and check. There are, I don't know, I've, I've seen 50 studies about this, which uh, prove it to be true. Um, and I reckon you can find probably about a thousand online that are like that. So... So what's the, the point? Thing, the thing is that people think that their memories, that they're basing, people are basing their lives on these memories that they think are real. But the truth is they're not. The, the truth is that people need to, to understand and focus on their past a little bit more than they're focusing on it. Because, be, be, because one of the reasons that people have problems as adults is that they're not aware of their own past. They've got this illusory uh, picture. So of, how can you focus? Childhood. So how can you focus on your past if you if you don't know what happened and you have no I've, way of I've knowing what, what happened? Two ways already during this conversation. What were they? I gave you two ways already during this conversation. I don't know. Okay. See, this is the point about focus, right? I, during the conversation, I told you two ways that this can be done already. One is through audio recording, and the other is through video recording. But that's not mem. That's you did. You don't have that. Listen. You don't have recordings. I don't have any recordings of my childhood. You, and that's why you have to. That's why you have to question everything. Well, that's because my point. You're not answering my point. I'm asking you: I How can someone focus on their past when they don't have any recordings? Audio, video, letters. Um, Talking to, okay, four ways, audio, video, letters, talking to other people about their experiences of the same situation, what they felt and what they remember about it. Those four ways, four scientific ways. Okay, I don't, have, I don't have the first three, so I'm left with talking to people. And how yeah. am I sure that those people are not manipulating my memory? 
Because he you, just you told can, me that can, memories can be easily created, yeah. even those that don't exist. That's the problem with human history. You can't, and you have to go with you have to go with the default, which is question mark. So it I can't might. focus on my past. No, no, you want you, you, I, no, I you want to throw happened. you want to throw away everything. See, I <laughs> gave you four ways. Yeah, I gave I'm, you I'm, four I'm ways to help yourself, and now you're saying you can't do it. I'm just. I gave you. I gave you all the tools you need to do it, and you're saying, "Well, I can't do it." Well, I well, can't because I don't have the first three. Okay, I'm talking about myself. I'm not talking about everybody out there. You I'm you've, about got, you've got one is very important. Why don't you want to? I've got do one. Them? Yes. But, but you, I have just to, you have to even question that one. Yes, but and the only way to know those are memories of other people. How do I know that they are real? Okay, first right? of all, the, the, the I mean, th th you can't no, rely no, no, on no, that no, no, as no, no, a source. No, 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 no. You're not. You're not listening to me because I said you can't rely on them. You're saying, yeah. how do you know? I've already said you three or four times. You cannot rely on it. You have to cross-reference everything, right? That's why to know that. Okay, basically, to know that anything is real or true. You need you need three perspectives on the same thing. Three. Yeah, yeah. That's it. like if if this person tells me something, right? It's their perspective on the <coughs> subject, right? <coughs> and then somebody else comes and tells me something. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And then you, so you check this data with the third person. Then it has some validation. But mm -hmm. until you do that. It has zero validation in terms of information from people. That's why the creation of audio recording, digital recording, video recording is the greatest scientific, it's, it's the greatest advancement in, in, in humanity ever because suddenly we're able to analyze reality. Before, all we had were um, people writing about what they saw or uh, people drawing what they saw. Or, or painting what they saw, and that was helpful and useful. We could build encyclopedias, but it wasn't it wasn't enough. Now we have this ability to record data. We can we we can check it. <coughs> this was not available before, and people need to understand that a lot of the memories that we have are false. And I know this because I've been through it with myself and with other people. I know other people who have, com and you know who they are, who have completely rewritten history for certain things that happened and didn't happen. Okay. We've talked about this before. You might have forgotten about the conversation, um, but we have had this conversation before <coughs> about people who rewrite the past by saying this did not happen and that did not happen when it clearly did. And there's evidence for it. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of people like that. And th the way that we understand the world, the way that we understand the world is, is through analysis, not just of our own experiences, which could be false, but of other people's experiences as well. Um, you know, this is how we learn about how, you know, how people are colorblind, right? We, we learn that through this collection of a larger amount of data about what the human experience should be. The more data we have, the more the, the more precise and exact we can be with our measurements and our information. And um, and so when we when we think about the past, again I have to the, the piece, people don't get this and, and no, nobody nobody is going to progress in their lives until they understand that their memories are false. That's it. You've got to get over and around and through that barrier by some kind of analysis of the way things are. And you, t as I said, you take a conversation today, you record it, you try to recreate the conversation tomorrow. The conversation is different. Of course, it's be different. Be Nobody be can remember everything they said. And then things word by word change and transform. You know the um, selective focus experiment with the with the basketball and the monkey. Right? Yes. Right, because people are told what is important, they completely disregard everything else, and that's what the mind, that's what the brain is doing when you think about the past. That's exact. That's what. That's the same process the brain is going through when you think about the past. When you think about the past, you're focusing on what you know, or even more scary, what you think that you know. But that can just as easily be be a, be a manipulation, and that's. And that's as far as we can get. People who take it further end up 
in in the insane world of oh we all live in a matrix and everything's in a projection and we can't really be sure of everything and that's that that's just insanity but, but what we can do is say that there's a lot of things that we don't know about ourselves in our own past and this memory that has us in the center of it is an is unreal it is not even possible that's real because you're not a camera outside of yourself recording what's going on nobody is it's impossible There we go. Number six. Number six. <sighs> and the last one for today. Because we've been... I've been ranting. <laughs> You've been ranting. Yes. been ranting. Yes. <laughs> but it's really important. Ask the occasional question. But it's, but it's really <coughs> important. No human being can progress until they understand what I've said. None. That's it. It's not a generalization at all. No, th but it's... The truth is never a generalization. It is what it is. Play is the work of the child. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said when we were talking about number two or three, was it? Ah, good. Well, that was, uh, <laughs> that was very pertinent, wasn't it? Right. <laughs> Super. Right. If you'd like more information about how we <laughs> argue <laughs> and what we argue about, <laughs> if, you <laughs> if you'd like to tell us where to go and how to get there, <laughs> then um, then you know where to find us online. Uh, I'm at the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching on YouTube and Facebook. It's also nsa-slovakia.com. And uh, this is the 19th century. Sorry, no, not the 19th century. 18th. 18th century. Yes. 18th century. This is this is. Uh, 21 th century Jane man Austen spelled M U M dot com. Mm. You better say it again because I was talking over the top of you. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> how unusual. Oh no, you're gonna. Okay, now I'm just gonna. I'm just. Gonna, I'm just gonna, gonna talk, 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 talk now. Because I gave you an opportunity there, and they were just like, "Oh no, I'll just uh, throw it back at you." <laughs> yeah, right back at you, there, man. Okay, right. Okay. Oh uh -huh. my god. Okay, so, I might just um, go and have a soup now, people. So, so she's, she's, and she's I'm just gonna leave this person she's <laughs> to keep talking because <laughs> I'm my I'm getting a headache. Jane, Jane <laughs> Austen here, right? No. Uh -huh. So um, there we go. Yeah, I'll uh, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions she floats away like for example how do I keep myself sane um, I will be happy to answer it to you them it them what just leave them in the comment the people hello <laughs> <laughs> questions look uh. and you know finally I'd just like to say your day is not complete without one of these that's Obi-Wan Obi-Wan of these mm-hmm <laughs> it's kind of uh, <coughs> I might play with it myself I know I know you're going to end up doing just that aren't you you're probably going to attach it to your spoon and eat your soup with it oh, that's, a good, that's a good idea yeah I know I think of that she's got the sheep yeah. right, well that's a sign that we should yeah. stop um, thank you very See much you later, online maple uh, maple maple, <laughs> maple. <laughs> What? Later, I said. See you later, people. Oh, Canada. Sorry. <laughs> and yeah, he needs food because when he rants, it it makes him hungry. Ra so <laughs> I'm going to feed him, and we will food, see you next food, time. Food stop rant. Food stop yeah, rant. I need to. I need to. I need to. Uh, food stop rant. It should yes. be the name of a restaurant. Anyway. No, yeah. <laughs> not. <laughs> she not. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it all now. It's all chaos breaks out. Yeah. Um, Zora found the punching gloves. Oh. So we have to go. Um, if you're just joining us right now, uh, rewind, rewind, rewind. You missed it all, including my big rant about. About oh my god! Yes. Bye bye. Yes, you want to listen to the rant? Bye. Yeah. Da da da.